Welcome to another episode of answering questions that nobody asks. So today we have the McLaren Speed Tail and the McLaren F1 GT. We're gonna be comparing them on the track and on a quarter mile drag race and see how much top speed they can get. Yeah, watch till the end to see which car is the fastest among this category. You might ask yourself, why am I comparing the McLaren F1 GT and the speed tail look at that look at that but dunk -a -dunk. they both have big booties <laughs> okay they're both long tail and they also have three seats and a center driving position look at that the, my character sit in the center of the car is sitting in the center and you might ask okay that's not enough to compare these cars because one is old that's this is what Wikipedia said about the McLaren F1 GT. Said McLaren was aiming to make this car have more downfalls and reduce drag. And it also says about the speed tail. It also said similar thing about McLaren wanting to achieve less drag on on the speed tail. So I think these cars are very very similar other than that one is old and one is newer not new but you get the point one is it's a modern car and the other is a 90s car but they were trying to achieve the same goals okay for this one they took the gtr and gave it a long tail and everything to produce more downforce for the track but the speed tail i think the speed tail they wanted to go for a high speed to achieve top speed because it also has caps on the front wheels so this car bone stock has 618 horsepower and 480 <laughs> foot pound of torque and it weighs 2.4 pounds wow i think that's light compared to this car you see that's very light and it has a six liter v12 engine by the way if you haven't if you have not heard it ah oh, man these cars look similar look at that Ooh, look at that the wheel is hitting the defenders let's see what the v12 has for us The sound of a naturally aspirated V12, man, that sounds so good. Oh, even the downshifts, man, this car sounds good. Oh, those slide. Why? Why is it sliding? Is it a rear-wheel drive car? I think it's a rear-wheel drive car, but because when I was trying to turn and hit the throttle, it wanted to spin out. Let's see here. You see, it spins out. So I think it's rear-wheel drive. Let's use the downforce. This car is meant to have. Oh okay i managed to get away with that one uh, this car doesn't have active aero but the speed tail has active aero so the wings can go up and down who are we gonna have a good time eight seconds one minute eight seconds let's see the second run what time it will have oh man it's slow around the corners it feels slow while turning around the corners Okay, now, okay, okay, don't slide, you can hear the wheel squealing, like it wants to, to lose the tail, <laughs> it wants to drift around the track and we don't want to drift right now, we want to get a better time than the McLaren speed tail, oh man, it understeered on that corner, oh, go, 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 run flat on this corner, go, go, even if it's not that fast, if it, even if it's not faster than the speed tail it sounds good i don't know okay the speed tail i think it has a hybrid system on it oh our last seven what we got eight seconds again oh man it's slow one minute eight seconds okay it's slow this car has one thousand more than one thousand horsepower and it and 800 ish foot pound of torque so and a four liter v8 it's not a fair race but i'm just comparing the cars because the cars have similar oh look at that exhaust because they have similar characteristics but this car is not road legal in the united states because it doesn't have rear view mirrors it has cameras look at the side of the door it has cameras and there's something and something that has to do with the side mounted airbags so this car doesn't have that so that's part of why it's not road legal Yep, if you had this, if you bought this car in the United States, then you can't drive it on public road. That's a goddamn shame. Oh, I think this one is faster. Who knew that the V8 would be faster than a V12 engine and produce more horsepower? Oh, under steering. Under steering again. 
Oh man, I had to brake a little bit. You see the active arrow at the back of the car. If I brake, I think the wings will go down. Oh, it doesn't get time for the wings to go down. But you can see those little two flaps at the back. That's the active arrow I was talking about. We got one minute, seven seconds. And the second run, I think it's gonna do more. Not more, less than seven seconds. That's my guess. Obviously, it's gonna maybe four seconds or two seconds. I don't know. Oh, two or three seconds. Maybe it will get one minute, three seconds, or oh, four seconds. Go, 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 go. Okay, it's fast. It's fast. It's fast. Break, break. It kind of understeers a little bit because it doesn't have too much error on it. So yeah. Oh no no! Yo, managed to hit the checkpoint. I thought I was gonna miss it. Just like last time because I went too wide. Oh, the brakes are not that good. Like I, you can brake early, but you can see the car heading for the wall. And what? Are we gonna get three seconds? Okay, one minute, four seconds. So we shaved off four seconds. Like, okay, three seconds. But from the McLaren F1 GT, got 8 seconds, so they managed to improve by 4 seconds. This is the funniest thing I've seen here today about the McLaren Speed Tail. So the McLaren Speed Tail is road, not road legal. So I saw an article with someone who said, we need side mounted airbags anyway. If you own a Speed Tail, you are already living your best life and dying in it would be only, he said, and dying in it would only be fitting. Imagine. What? Does this guy use his mind? I ain't gonna the McLaren Speed Tail would be fitting because you own one. Oh, no, man. I don't think that's it. Let's see which one is faster on the car mile drag race i think this was 1000 horsepower speed test gonna win you saw that arrow i was trying to show you now it's uh okay nine seconds what 9.960 seconds oh let's see if we can get more time than that one let's go mclaren speed tail man this guy is so aerodynamic look at that look how the tails go Okay, six seconds, seven seconds, eight, nine. Ah, oh, I think it got the same time. Oh, it got less time. Nine point nine four three. Nine point nine four three. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's see what the F1 GT will do. Let's see what the natural aspirated V12 will do. Oh, it has a, a single windshield wiper. Look at that. I have. I. I, I didn't notice before. Oh, let's go. Seven seconds. Nine, ten. Oh, man, it's slow. 10.9 seconds. Almost 11 seconds. But at least it's a 10 second car. Okay, let's see. It's second run. It's second run. Let's see. Okay. Maybe this car was not made. It's not made for the straight line. But it's made for top speed. No. It's made for the track, not top speed. Oh nine. 9.8 Oh, still the same time. Oh man, it's slow. I was hoping maybe it could be faster. Okay, maybe it can be faster in another thing. Let's see which one has a higher top speed. Okay, let's start and see which one is faster. Oh man, I have a feeling that maybe the old car... Okay, I don't think it's gonna be faster because this car, I think... During this time, reach um, 200 miles per hour, like not more than that. And it has a naturally aspirated V12. I think this is the fastest naturally aspirated V12 car. Okay, not the V12 part, but naturally aspirated engine. The fastest naturally aspirated car in the world. I don't think there's any other car that managed to beat this car, even to this date okay maybe the normal f1 not this one oh man 218 we are stuck on it okay let me wait until we reach that part where we go down here i think this is it ah uh, the speed is going down 218 to 217 oh 18 again 19 20 21 23 
224 miles per hour. Okay, let's see if it tell can, can do more than 224 miles per hour without any upgrade. 224 miles per hour. Okay, let's launch control this car. Let's see how much top speed it can get. Uh, I think it's gonna be more. Maybe 240. I don't know in real life how this car is. The top speed. Oh. Oh, go, go, go. Already reaching to. Oh, man. Oh, it managed to hit two. 220. Now it's on 30. Oh, man. Okay. I think it's gonna reach 250 at this point. 250 250 managed to hit 250 can we get more than 250 251 52 53 54 55 55 55 55 can it reach 56 56 there oh i think gonna reach 260 here yeah. 260, 262, 263, 64, 260, 64, wow, 264, that's a lot, 264, that's a lot, that's more than what the F1 got, ah, uh, there was no, there were not even similar, mechanical so i think it was expected for this car to win